So I want to go across now to Taranjit Singh Sandhu. Uh, he is uh, formerly our ambassador to the United States, now the BJP's candidate in Amritsar. Last time we'd spoken, you just come back from uh, Washington, D.C., taken off your diplomatic bangala, put on, put on this uh, Netawali bandi. Uh, Taranjit Sandhu, how's it been? The cool climbs of Capitol Hill versus the bylanes of Nava and Purana Amritsar. How is this transition going for you? Well, Rahul, actually, very, very educative. Of course, you said cool climb, so I will say to the hot climbs now. Uh, it's very, very educative. And uh, I must say, last time we spoke, I underlined to you that my focus is going to be on the issues of development in Amritsar. And actually, there are huge challenges here. So I am full-time, 100% focused on that. And I must say that I have got a very good response, both in the urban side and in the rural side. Now, Amritsar is a very tricky seat for the BJP. The mighty Arun Jetli lost there. The Congress has won the last two Lok Sabha elections in the Assembly uh, elections. The AAP swept all the Assembly segments. So what makes you confident that you can pull off what uh, the formidable Arun Jaitley couldn't? So I don't think uh, I will answer a question which you have put so mischievously. Well, I can certainly say when the going gets tough, the tough get going. But uh, I think uh, Rahul just watch for the results. This city has a whole lot of basic problems which should have been solved 10 years ago. Whether we look at law and order, whether we look at drugs, whether we look at cleanliness, whether we look at productivity, incomes, unemployment, all of them are there. So there seems to be a clear indication that people are now hungry for development. Mr. Sandhu, what happens if you don't win? You know, how committed are you to politics in Amritsar? You come from a very distinguished Punjabi family. Your you know, ancestors were involved in the Gurdwara reform movement. But uh, it's a tough seat. Uh, will you stay in active politics even if you lose? Or will you retreat somewhere to the hills or wherever it is that you've uh, planned your retirement? I don't have any retreat, uh, Rahul. My family house is very much in Amritsar, Samundri house. It's been here for almost this particular house has been there for more than 55 years. And if you know a bit about my family, you know, my grandfather died almost uh, 100 years ago in uh, Lahore jail. And he is considered as uh, one of the leading figures of Gurdwara reform movement. In fact, the only building in the Darbar Sahib complex, which is named after a non-guru, is, is in his memory, Teja Singh Samundari. And my father and mother both have done a lot for education. They are very well known here. So it's my hometown. I will not go to any hill station because I don't have any apartment or house there. So, but on the serious side, uh, Rahul, incidentally, you know, an initiative has been taken already that's called Vikshit Amritsar by the diaspora, most of them belonging to Amritsar in the United States. And they have all got together. This is first of its kind. They have all got together and raised $100 million, almost 850 crore rupees for the development of Amritsar. And okay. three clear areas they have identified. One is the startups, especially for women and children and uh, youth. Second is what are they calling drug-free Amritsar? Here they are actually paying for sending two successful medicines which are being used in the United States. And third is clean Amritsar. So all these three projects, and they have asked me to serve on their board. So I'm very much looking at staying on here. And this is my hometown, and uh, I'll continue to work for Amritsar. Well, okay, I look forward to some interesting Amritsari Chula Kulcha with you when we come down to Darbar Sahib next. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador Sandhu, for joining us, Mr. Sandhu, now in his political avatar. Uh, before I wrap up, Ramesh Munak, what according to you is the X factor? When you look at voting trends on the 1st of June, 
what would you be looking out and telling people to look out for most carefully? Uh, Rahul, X factor according to me could be counter polarization. Uh, what is for sure is that you know the rural vote you know would get divided between Congress, Amadmi Party, uh, and Akali's. So in case there is a consolidation of urban vote, you know, um, in a reaction to what BJP is facing in the countryside, you know, because of farmers' relentless campaign against the party, you know, uh, so then that could change, you know, the equations uh, in Punjab, you know, that, you know, then, you know, uh, gentlemen like Taranji Singh Sandhu, you know, uh, because Amritsar is predominantly a Sikh constituency, and uh, in case, you know, the Sikh vote gets divided and uh, the Hindu votes rallies behind the BJP, then even Mr. Sandhu has a good chance of making it. That's my sense. That's a very important factor. In fact, that's what Messrs. Shah and Modi and the others are hoping for. Uh, that there will be, because the BJP hopes to expand in Punjab more than it has been able to, and particularly consolidate the Hindu vote, and if the Sikh vote gets divided, then that could be something to look out for. Is that something that worries you, Jashmin Shah, before I end? That the Sikh vote gets split three ways, the Hindu vote unites, and that then changes traditional dynamics in Punjab? Not at all, Rahul. Wherever Aam Aadmi Party has strengthened its roots, we are known to bring politics to the discourse of performance and of delivery. That's the singular factor that, you know, across caste, across religions, people vote for Aav because they have received something concrete which no other party did. They have, you know, they have two years of fun. I think now they are hooked on to AAP and uh, their Chief Minister Bhagwant Man, and you will see the proof of the pudding uh, when uh, Punjab goes to vote on 1st of July. Okay, we'll know soon enough whether they have uh, actually benefited from what you're saying are the various schemes and projects of Punjab and whether the, uh, the enthusiasm seen in the Assembly election continues into the Lok Sabha election or not. I want to thank our guests. We've had a very high-quality conversation on the political dynamics of the, state of, of the state of Punjab. And we hope to do several of these in the build-up to our exit poll. And then, of course, during the exit poll on the 1st of June and during counting on the 4th.